Hi guys, Gabi from UiPath Hacks here. Last week I did a video on UiPath sub accelerators for Puppy Requisition Create. But not all accelerators are built for puppies. There are some which are using the sub GUI. And I decided to test today the one for creating source lists. If you saw my video last week, you already know that you can download the accelerators from the UiPath Marketplace under SAP and that you have to also download the foundation pack for accelerators. The update source list accelerator can be found under the sales pack. So please download the two packs, either for SAP S4 or for SAP SEC, and then you can rename the foundation pack folder and inside it, please copy the update source list folder. So this is the foundation pack folder, except this one, which is for the source list. And before we jump into the code, I will repeat what I said in the first video. Please take some minutes to read the documentation. It might save you much more debugging time afterwards. Please make sure you read at least the manual for your path accelerators for SAP S4 HANA or ECC. And please take note of the prerequisites um, SAP should be logged on before executing the accelerator. And also please check if the scripting settings are properly maintained. For example, it's important not only to have the enabled scripting box checked here, but also to have the other two boxes unchecked. Otherwise, your selectors will not work properly. And then if we go inside the source list update folder in data, the arguments file should stay here and it should not be moved to the data folder of the foundation pack as we used to do with the BAP accelerators. So for the sub GUI accelerators, all the data files and arguments and input files, they're staying here. So for the wing GUI accelerators, the arguments file is staying inside the data folder of the respective accelerator. Now let's look at the source list update workflow. It has a very nice and clear explanation at the beginning of the file with the seven steps to be performed. And the first step is reading the argument file. As a result, the data is loaded into the config dictionary. The arguments file should be passed as an argument, the in argument file path. And to have the paths working properly, the workflow that is calling the SRC list update workflow should be created one level higher in the folder structure. So the main file, in this case, I created manually a very short main file here in the folder of the foundation pack. And this main file just invokes the SRC list update XML file from the SRC list update folder. All right. The second step is calling the check arguments workflow to check the argument data consistency. We notice here another small difference from the first video for the BAPI Requisition Create Accelerator. There, the check argument workflow was the one from the foundation pack. So we have a file with the same name in this folder, check argument. But in the case of WinGUI accelerators, we are not using this file from the foundation pack, but we are using our own check argument implementation for the specific source list update accelerator so we are still using the foundation pack as a framework, but we're kind of overloading the workflow here, if we can call it that. We have a different file with the same name that is being called instead of the one from the foundation pack. And if we open it, it is basically checking if some of the paths and files in the argument Excel file exist and throwing a business rule exception if any of them do not. This helps as a reminder if you did not get the folder structure right. The third step is creating the component resources and storing them also in the config dictionary. What are the component resources? Well, they are stored in the config folder of the update source list implementation, and they are storing as text different sub GUI based selectors that would be needed later in the process. 
we can open the config folder and we have here the resources file and there are basically a bunch of selectors. The fourth step is assigning a log file name and the fifth step is building a database with all the sheets as key values right here that are relevant for creating a source list. And these are the exact sheet names from the input Excel file stored in the data folder. So if we go back here to data, we open the input file and we have here initial screen and source list overview. And we have the same names here on the first column of this data table. All right, the sixth step is just checking if the sub GUI is running and also maximizing the screen. And the seventh step is invoking the load Excel data workflow. This time it is using the workflow from the foundation pack. So we see the SRC common folder, which comes from the foundation pack that we have seen already in the previous video for um, BAPI accelerators. So let's open the workflow. It is getting as parameters the input file and the selector file, and it will get as output the dictionaries for the same two elements, as well as a list of sheets from the input Excel file containing the business data. We are first reading the input Excel sheet. Then for each sheet, we are storing the data both from the input Excel sheet and for the corresponding sheet in the selector's Excel file. If the sheets are not aligned between the two files, then a business rule exception is being thrown. So after step seven, we are looping through each row of the input data sheet dictionary, meaning basically through each sheet of the Excel file and then calling the SRC set transaction code workflow, which is basically just typing in the SAP transaction name. Then for each sheet, on the input data Excel file, the set screen data flow workflow is being called. And this is the actual implementation of the update source list automation. We will not go here into details, but it is actually inputting the data of the different transaction screens using a number of additional workflows, some of them from the foundation pack and some of them from the actual implementation of this accelerator. And at the end, a log file is being written and exceptions are also handled. So let's run this. We have the input file here. So this is the only thing I have edited manually. We have two materials and we have two rows here on the first sheet. We have the number one and two, and this is the link or the index to link the two sheets. So the number one here has in this case two sequence numbers on the second sheet. Just for having different uh, time intervals here, we actually have the same vendor, so it makes no difference, but we could have different vendors. And the second or the last row stands here for the second number on the first sheet. So for this material, we have this source list line. And if we want to keep the default values entered on SAP, so if we had a source list and we just wanted to update this, then we could use skip here to skip this field without changing it. So let's run this. I will close the input file and I will just run this main workflow. It is maximizing the SAP screen and entering the first source list with the two lines. Then moving on to the second source list with only one line, saving it and that's it. The workflow has finished running. One thing to improve still is that we are still on the maintain source list screen. We should be on the main menu in SAP. But anyways, we can see now our source list with ME03. This is the one for the second material with the one line and we can see also the first one. This is the material number with the two lines. And that was it. We have seen how to prepare a UiPath SAP GUI accelerator. We did a high level review of the code and then we have run the workflow. Quite amazing how quickly we were able to create some source lists in SAP without even knowing something like the transaction code because everything is packaged inside the accelerator. We just had to know and prepare the business data. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel and be informed of future uploads, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.